there are many parts of the Southern Ocean which usually experience sea ice formation and it's just not growing at all. And in fact, at a gross level, none of it seems to be growing much more now. And, and the loss of sea ice is so much, I mean, some years it's more than others, but since 2017, it appears to be growing less and less in the, in the winter time, which is a concern. So we know that um, with global warming and climate change, um, the frequency of extreme events in, in many fields, whether that's you know in Africa or in Europe, is likely to increase um, as we go forward. And similarly, um, there's also a risk with Antarctica that extreme events will, will increase in number um, as well as size. So these are global effects, you know, the global warming that might happen um, in Antarctica as a consequence of sea ice loss. And the sea level rise that will happen in it from Antarctica are global consequences. Every country that's got a coastal margin will see the effects of that. And that's why Antarctic change becomes a global phenomenon. It's no longer isolated and protected. Um, it seems to be connected to the rest of the planet and it's behaving in a way that other parts of the world are as well. The changes that we've seen in recent years, like I'm, I'm worried by them. You know, I'm, a, you know, it's, it's, it's surprising even to me as a glaciologist that's familiar with, you know, the detail of what's happening and how rapidly our polar regions are changing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 